tell you that what's in front of you is bigger than what's behind you. Your destiny, your promise, your future. You might as well shout before you get it. Because God sent me here to tell you that what he has for you is going to be big. That it's my season. That it's my season. You ought to declare that over your own life. Say, I believe. I believe. That it's my time. That it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. And I can feel it. And I can feel it. <laughs> Say, breakthroughs in the room. Breakthroughs in the room. It's yours if you want it. Anticipating. Anticipating. God's getting ready to move. God's getting ready to move. Listen, you ought to declare this over your own life. Say it. God, he's working a miracle just for me. And it's going to be. Grace and peace, everyone. This is Matthew Longmire, and it's an honor and a privilege to come to you this afternoon with the Midday Motivation Message. Um, before we get started, as always, I give honor to my passion First Lady, the Honorable Bishop C. Sean Tyson, and our First Lady, Krista Tyson. And I give honor to all the saints at Calvary and our friends from around the world. I greet you this afternoon in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, if you can, um, can you please turn into your Bibles to a very familiar passage of Scripture. That Scripture will be found from Philippians 4, verse 13. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And the word of the Lord reads, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Again, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthened me. This afternoon, I will be speaking on the subject of these three words. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Let us pray. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, you can. When we consider and analyze the subject title of today's midday motivation message of Yes, You Can, Yes, You Can is the answer to the question, Can I? So let's put it together. The question is, Can I? The answer, Yes, You Can. So let's break the message title down a little further. Uh, the two words I want us to focus on this afternoon are the words yes and can. Yes, Y-E-S, and can, C-A-N. The definition of the word yes is used to give an affirmative response or used to express willingness or agreement. Now, let's consider the word can, C-A-N. The word can has these three meanings. To be able to, to be permitted to, and have the possibility or opportunity to. I'm going to say that again. The word can has these three meanings. To be able to, to be permitted to, and have the possibility or opportunity to. Yes, you can. So I guess what I'm trying to say is this afternoon is I believe God is saying yes to the cans of your life. So let's put it together again. Yes, you, now let's plug in the definition of can. Yes, you are permitted to do all things God has called you to do. Yes, you, again, let's plug in that definition of can. Yes, you are able to do all that God has called you to do. And lastly, yes, you have the possibility or opportunity to do all that God has called you to do. You might be asking, how can I with everything that's going on? Uh, the how can I, how can I, when my job just told me uh, they're filing for bankruptcy? How can I start a business with no funding? How can I recover all? Well, the answer to your how can I's are found in Philippians 4, 
chapter 13. I can do all things. How can we do all things? Through Christ. You can do all things. How? Through Christ. So, so let's consider the life of the author of the scripture text. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. The Apostle Paul. Uh, we, we find some of his resume in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 27. And I'm going to be reading that out of the message version. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 to 27. This is just a short resume, some of his resume of Apostle Paul. And it reads, I've worked much harder, been jailed more often, beaten up more times than I can count, and at death's door time after time. I've been flogged five times with the Jews, 39 lashes, beaten by Roman rods three times, pummeled with rocks once. I've been shipwrecked three times and immersed in the open sea for a night and a day. In hard traveling year in and year out, I've had ford rivers, fend off robbers, struggled with friends, struggled with foes. I've been at risk in the city, at risk in the country, endangered by desert, by desert sun and sea storm, and betrayed by those I thought were my brothers. I've known drudgery and hard labor, many a long and lonely night without sleep, many a missed meal blasted by the cold naked to weather. So that's just a, a short resume of what the Apostle Paul has endured in his life and to still have the faith to say, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. So let's take it back to Philippians 4 again. So where Apostle Paul was imprisoned, apprehensive that his execution was close at hand. Uh, he was imprisoned for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, and with everything that Paul what he went through, he exhorts the readers to remain steadfast in their faith. Remain steadfast in their faith. So right now, if we look at what's going on in the world, in our society, right now a lot of things are going on. The COVID-19, racial tensions are rising, nation against nation. Unemployment is reaching depression levels. Lack of leadership from government and state officials who are in those positions to make key decisions that affects other people. So right now, a lot of things are going on right now. A lot of stuff is going on right now. Um, think and when we think about that, thinking on these things can send one into a panic attack, um, can put one in a state of worry and doubt. If you watch CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, whatever news channel, if you saturate in that you can literally lose your mind but let's do what the apostle said what the apostle paul said to do when thinking about things uh, philippians 4 chapter 4 verse 8 finally brethren whatsoever things things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely Whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, here we go. Think on these things. So let's think on the things that are pure. Think on the things that are just. Think on the things that are honest. Think of the things that are lovely and of a good report. Yes, you can. How can you? Again, through Christ. Uh, through Christ means... You have to get in Christ. And, and in Christ, we will have the strength from the Lord to faithfully endure the difficulties that arise in life. The, the things that arise in life, you have to get in Christ and you will receive the strength from the Lord. What are the ways that you can do all things through Christ? Number one, I'm going to give three ways in which you can do all things through Christ. Number one, through trials. Paul wrote in Philippians 4.13 during the, during the biggest trials of his life in a jail cell waiting to be executed for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. For those who are going through trials and tribulations right now, 
know that we find victory in the most difficult trials. James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. I'm going to read that in the Amplified uh, Version. And that says, Consider it, consider it nothing but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall into various trials, be assured that the testing of your faith through experience produces endurance, leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. And let endurance have its perfect result and do a, through, a thorough work so that you may be perfect and completely developed in your faith, lacking in nothing. So again, we can do all things through Christ. How? One of them is through trials. Number two, through contentment. Disappointments, setbacks, delays happens to us all. It happens to us all. One thing that I've learned personally in life is that comparison, comparing your life, your situations to others, comparison kills contentment. Comparison kills contentment. And but but let's remember again what the Apostle Paul said in the prison in Philippians four, chapter eleven. I mean, Philippians chapter 4, verse 11 through 12. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I'm in, therewith to be content. Whatsoever state I am in, therewith to be content. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. So another way we can do all things through Christ is through contentment. And lastly, through his victory. Through his victory. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. But thanks be unto God who has given us the victory as conquerors through our Lord Jesus Christ. So quickly, uh, those three ways we can do all things through Christ. Number one, through trials. Number two, through contentment. And number three, through his victory. In conclusion, last week, I was driving to Washington, D.C. And got on the Pennsylvania Turnpike and proceeded with my route to Washington, D.C. While driving, uh, we passed through a city called Somerset, Pennsylvania. Um, while on the highway, I noticed... A huge billboard sign, a billboard sign that asked the question, what's stopping you? W what's stopping you? That's all it said. And as I proceeded with my route to Washington, D.C., I started to analyze that question. What's stopping you? And I'm asking those who are watching this afternoon and those who will rewatch this midday motivation message, what's stopping you? What is stopping you? Then another, then a question popped into my mind that I, I, someone asked me a while ago. And that question is, what would you do if you weren't afraid? What would you do if you weren't afraid? Would you be a public speaker? Would you reapply to that university that rejected you? Would you change careers? This afternoon, I'm telling you, yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can do all those things that which God has called you to do. Now, now, whatever your answer is, when you consider that question, what would you do if you weren't afraid? Think about it. Take your time and just think about it. And whatever your answer is, go out and plan to do exactly what you're afraid of. But don't let anyone tell you that you can't when God said you can. Don't sabotage your destiny by speaking against it. Remember, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And if God be for me, who can be against me? You have the green light to be great. Yes, you can. Father God, I pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that oh God, that those who are watching, O oh God, this afternoon, be with them. Keep them, O oh God. Give them exactly what they stand in need of, O oh God. Thank you, God, for strengthening them to do the cans of life. They can be all in which you have called them to be. They can, oh God, reach destiny, oh God. They can, oh God, be used by you mightily in these last and evil days, oh God. We ask you, oh God, 
Please, oh God, give us continue to give us access to the mind of God. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as we navigate to, to go from yes we can to yes we did through God strengthening us. So Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My friend, I hope you enjoyed this midday motivation message. I pray it blessed you. I'm praying for you. I love you. God bless you in Jesus' name.